Hello Varshal here and you've clicked on this video because you're an ant keeper like me or you're a beginner ant keeper who wants to know some tips about ant keeping. Either way, this video is about the history of ant keeping and as well as some tips for beginner ant keepers. Like, share and subscribe. Let's start. To understand the history of ant keeping, we'll have to go back in time and I don't just mean back in time as in the dark ages before YouTube was a thing. I mean way back to the 1920s. Why? Well, all for this guy, Milton Levine. Who was he? Milton Levine was an American entrepreneur who was also the co-founder of Uncle Milton Toys. Not much is known about his early life aside from his fascination with toys. In the 1950s, he made a toy that would forever define ant keeping, even to this day, the ant farm. And this is how it worked. You would buy an ant farm which would come with a test tube full of harvested ants. But these harvested ants would later die because there's no queen ant. What's a queen ant? Well, the queen ant is basically the mother of the ant colony. The queen ant lays the eggs and basically if the queen ant is gone, the whole colony dies out eventually. Once all the ants died out, you would need to buy a new batch of ants from a local pet store. During this time, a lot of the people in the world were fascinated with ants and really bought many ant colonies and this basically started the fad of ant keeping. Ant farms were everywhere, from local pet stores to pet smarts and even real museums. Fast forward to the 21st century, ant keeping got much more advanced. We now knew that we could keep ant colonies for their whole lifespan by catching queen ants. By the way, click this eye card to know how to catch queen ants. Eventually, a new online platform called YouTube emerged and it took the internet by storm. And soon there were many new content creators on YouTube. One of them included Mikey Bustos, who was also known as Ants Canada. He started an ant store about two years prior. His channel quickly became YouTube's most popular ant channel ever. After that, Ants Canada made a lot of videos mainly focusing on his personal ant colonies and this inspired a lot of people to take up ant keeping. That takes us to where we are today. Now let's get into the tips for beginner ant keepers. The best ants to start off with are something hardy like black crazy ants scientifically known as Parachakina longicornis and carpenter ants, scientifically known as Campanotis. Try not to have something that grows really fast like fire ants because this can be a disaster. Fire ants are also escape artists, so they should be really left to the experienced ant keepers to keep. As per diet, ants need a source of protein this can be given to them with nuts or dried insects. You can also give them sugars like honey, sugar and fruits. Try to research on the wild conditions of the ants you are keeping and try to replicate this in your ant enclosure. Factors like humidity, temperature and etc. play a huge part in the success of your ant colony. 
for the enclosure you can use write about anything that ant can fit in that includes a lot of things like a group of test tubes and aquariums without the water and filled with soil and etc you can mix baby powder and rubbing alcohol to make a band of insect a slip and you can put this on the rim of your enclosure so that the ants don't escape you can also use other things like vaseline baby powder only and fluon which is a really good ant barrier that's it for today's video i hope you liked it if you did click the thumbs up button subscribe comment share basically click all the buttons below except the dislike button hopefully this is your ant guy signing out bye